what's going on so it's actually sunday morning now and my test pipes actually came in earlier they came in yesterday but i was really busy so i didn't really do an unboxing or nothing i just opened up as soon as i seen them but uh i'm actually on my way now they're right back there i'm on my way now to go to the shop to get them installed so you guys will be seeing them shortly stay tuned the g going in the g's going in can't wait to hear what it sounds like so quick update so i don't know if you guys can see me because there's a little bit of water on my phone because it's raining but we i've been here for just about three hours almost three hours and we just i guess just got uh one of the catalytic converters off so but the easiest part is putting them on so take them off the hardest one so i'm not too worried about it but they're a struggle with them. Demon bolts is no joke, but you guys get an update soon on when it's finally done. But yeah, catch you guys shortly. What's going on again, YouTube? Sorry, camera's blurry. It's still drizzling a little bit, even though it says it's not supposed to rain, but whatever. So update, I got here at 10. It is now 5 p.m. And we're still trying to get one bolt off because somebody, whoever had the car before me, had an exhaust leak. And they decided to weld the bolt in the catalytic converter to the uh, the header or whatever it's attached to on the front side. So now, an hour job turned into a seven hour job. But it should be done soon. Hopefully. R.I.P. To my O2 sensor. <laughs> First startup. So I apologize because when I was editing the video, I seen that it was kind of everywhere and it wasn't really uh, like you, it was hard to follow along with it. So I uh, decided that I was just going to like summarize everything that happened with, to you guys. So in my other video, as I said, uh, before I ordered my test pumps, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do them myself, I needed to find a shop that can do them. And a lot of shops around here don't touch them. So I finally found a shop that would condemn and that was going to charge me a decent price. And uh, that night I decided to order the test pipes. And then uh, they came in early this week and I set up an appointment to get them put on today at uh, 10 a.m. So I get there and um, he shows up a few minutes later, whatever. And then they take my car right back and they uh, start installing them. And what happened was they found that whoever had the car before me welded the cat, the gasket to the uh, to where the header is, where it connects to the header. They welded the one, the demon bolt. They welded the little flange, everything together because I guess there was a leak somewhere. So what they had to do was cut the uh, the flange off and try to get like a straight line and then sand it down or whatever, grind it down so that for the new gasket and the uh, the test pipes that it's even and, and there's no leak in it. So 
they had to do that, and they were having trouble getting all the bolts off because of how rusted they were. And then at the end, the guy, uh, for some reason, uh, with these test pipes that I got, the one on the right side, uh, passenger side, it where the O2 bung goes, if you have the O2 sensor in, it hits the drive shaft. So what happened was he put it in because he didn't know that. And when he was taking it out, the wires were kind of like coming apart. So the wires came off of the O2 sensor. And because he told me he's going to have to uh, wait till my adapters come in. Because I did order adapters on order test pipes. They should come in Tuesday or Wednesday. So as soon as I get those, I'm going there to get them put on. So it's like a J-shaped adapter. So it'll be perfect because it will come straight out. And that would help turn it off my uh, check engine light, hopefully. So that's coming up. He has my O2 sensor. He said he has to solder it back to, uh, like, back the wires back together, whatever. So that's going to be cool. And now we have to wait for the adapter. And I see that I didn't really get a good exhaust clip of uh, my car sound, like how it sound, whatever. But in tomorrow's video, I'm doing some stuff. And it's also my birthday tomorrow. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to uh, definitely getting some exhaust clips, maybe some flybys, and we'll see what else we do tomorrow. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe. And oh yeah, by the way, I didn't mention, did they give me power? I don't know yet because it was raining the whole day, even though it wasn't supposed to. And I didn't really get to push it as like how I wanted to, like how I wanted to test them because our cars are the vq engine is really like top end so i didn't really get to do it i was slipping and sliding everywhere it was crazy but uh tomorrow i will definitely get some flybys or whatever and i'll let you guys know if it did in fact give me more power and like if i could feel it and what feels like it changed or whatever i'll give you an update tomorrow have a good one